Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is day 13 of our fast, and today we're going to read from Psalms 53. So it says, A fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are, are any who understand, any who seek God. Everyone has turned away. All have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Do all these evildoers know nothing? They devour my people as though eating bread. They never call on God. But there they are, overwhelmed with dread when there was nothing to dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put, to, you put them to shame, for God despised them. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When God restores his people, let Jacob and Israel be glad. So um, today, uh, David was a man, a man who was oppressed, a man who was uh, hunted down, a man who was hated. Um, I don't know what place you find yourself in today. You know, maybe that's the state of your mind today. Uh, maybe there are those that come against you. Maybe there are those who say, why are you even doing this? Uh, it doesn't make any difference. Nothing's happening. Um, you're wasting your time. You know, it might, that, those words might even come from family. They might even come from your coworkers. They will, they'll come from people who don't share your convictions. But in verse 5, it shows that, that God is the one that is fighting your battles. He's the one that's going to deal with the enemy. Not only will he utter, utterly destroy the works of the enemy, but the Bible says he's even going to scatter their bones so that there will be nothing left. So know that God is working during this fast. He's breaking strongholds. He's breaking mindsets. He's breaking bondages. He's doing those things that trip us up, those things that we can't even see. But God's the one that's doing it, and he's the one that's fighting the battle for us. In verse 2, it says that God is looking for those that have understanding, those who are seeking for him. So God sees you. Know that God sees you. He sees that your desire for God is greater than those things that you are sacrificing. So as you seek him today, be encouraged and know that God is for you, that he sees you, and that he loves you. So let's pray this morning. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are for us. We thank you, God, that you uh, see all that we go through, Lord God, and that you are right there with us. We thank you, Lord God, that you look and, and, and you see those that are actively seeking you just as you're actively seeking us. And so, Father, I pray, God, that you strengthen every, uh, each and every one of us today and help us as we go through our day. So God bless you.